Hi, my name is Ken Lasseson. I wrote a microbiome prescription website, and today I want to show you walk through a brand new feature added on February 17th, 2023. So you know that it exists and what it does. So if you go to my profile about page, and a reader contacted me about having feeling bad after taking antibiotics. Now, a while back, you took antibiotics, no, no impact. My first suggestion is a, a likely cause is what's called the Yarrick Herxheimer reaction. And the question is, which bacteria are the likely cause? He had a variety of antibiotics. I have had a Herxheimer reaction from taking probiotics, which is not unexpected because many probiotics produces um, basically natural antibiotics against other bacteria. So if you ramp up on a bacteria in a reasonable dosage, for myself it was middle floor, you can get a whopping big mut um, Herx reaction, which I've had for three or four days, so it just sort of, oh boy, worse than any antibiotics I have. It can also happen from other things, but let's first get to it, and then we'll talk more about it. So, and especially reports for MDs on your my profile page nice and easy to find just click here and make sure you pick the right one i have here links to a variety of posts i've done dealing with herxheimer's um including the probiotic herxheimer reaction ways of controlling it based on the literature and changes in microbiome can produce herxheimer reaction we have no definitive answer as to what will or what will not cause it is basically hearsay and a few exceptions um, and what we have here is for Herxheimer reaction this is based on the premise that you have some overgrowth which is suddenly being walloped by something you're taking either directly as in a probiotic or antibiotic or indirectly as in something else you're taking is promoting the growth of the bacteria which is producing natural antibiotics against the other thing. That is a more complicated convoluted step to try tracing back. Things that will act directly is much easier. So we go there and you can say okay you can set whatever level you want for example let's say I say 65% here. So I will only look <clears throat> at bacteria which I'm at 65 percent. I have a bit above typical rates of it. And let's see how you act. Down below you have the items which you have, which are the modifiers. In this case, we go, we click here. Just clicking it, we'll open it. We go down here. And the first thing he studied, which he had a reaction from, was doxycycline, which I mark here. Another one which he had an adverse reaction to nowadays. Um, is uh carimycosin and the third one is um ba -ba 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 -ba. oh where is it um there it is let's do some old so those are the three things all those things cause him to feel bad or worse. Speculation, or as a first hypothesis to be tested, is it is because of a Herxheimer diaphragm of bacteria. The articles I cite up above here will give some insight on ways of determining whether or not it is. Typically, you feel worse for X number of hours, then it wears off, and then you feel better. And then you take a game and you feel worse. So it goes back and forth. Eventually, the feeling worse fades away and you just feel better. So we mark them. We do a compute. And down here, we have the, the species which are impacted. And we can sort by whichever way you want. And what we find is we have two streptococcus, which he is at the 70th percentile. And all three items impact these two bacteria. So chances are those bacteria are the ones which are producing the, the feeling bad by Herxheimer reaction. We also have the vector genus, and we have 
So he's very high there. And two of the three impacts that one, which is um, not the best. And then we have ones which do individual. You notice that almost all of them are species underneath this genus. And we have 25 candidates. And by starting from the top down, you can see what it is. And we can see other things where it could be involved. So that's it. Now, if I go back here and um, go down here and go back to antibiotics and click it, you should see it still clicks. So you can go and unclick it if you want to try different combinations, etc. Um, and I uh, will do that back to neutrality or actually 10. When it's 10, things line up nicely. I got sight change to do that. Now, if I go over to another sample, there, and voila, we have there, and guess what? Those things, the, the two bacteria which were high from a time before when he wasn't having an adverse reaction are different bacteria would be the ones impacted. So that suggests that those two, that tends to reinforce the speculation that those two bacteria all having grown to a higher percentage are now the result of the Herxheimer's reaction, assuming that is what is happening. Because he didn't have adverse before, but he didn't have as high growth amount of those two bacteria, he had no, he was feeling okay with antibiotics. Now he's feeling bad and two bacteria shows up which weren't there before, which implies that those two are likely. So that's basically it. Up here, we again have the information. You can just click few. Um, one here is controlling Herxheimer reaction. Gives a one. This is from my CFS one. Um, and links and um, one thing it does <coughs> is mention what the half-life is which makes implication for how long the Herx should be going on for example uh, zithromycin is 40 hours which means that the level in your blood system after 40 hours is only half what it was it may need to get down to a small percentage so you may well be Herxing for days and days and days not much you can do EDTA is just an hour, so if you take it, you feel bad for an hour or two, it'll disappear. Then it's a half life. Other things are longer, other things are shorter. Again, the half life indicates how is an indicator of how long the Herx is likely to stay around. And um, it's, for example, doxycycline is 16 hours, which means he takes some. Um, once a day, chances are it may not be till second day or even third day before the end of the Herx passes, assuming that this is triggering it. Because the, what happens is the quantity drops in half and half and half, and you want to get it down to be low enough level that the kill off toxins doesn't cause the um, feeling bad feeling. Okay. That is basically it. I'll shut up and get this online.